Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to talk about two things really quickly. Uh, the hacking scene around the PlayStation 4 and the Wii U. So let's get to it. Okay, first of all, let's kick off on the Wii U. So the iOS U 5.5 kernel exploit has been leaked. So you can check out the details on wululu.net. They're a really good website just for uh, finding out information about all the hacking around your favorite console. Uh, I'll put the link in description, but as you can see here on the screen, uh, it's got the download link and the usage instructions. Now I've personally given it a go and it all works fine. It is a bit finicky. Uh, to get set up and you do require a bit of IT uh, knowledge and an IT background to get it working but uh, it does work and uh, it just takes a couple of goes. Now quickly moving over to the PlayStation 4, uh, the PS4 Playground with FTP server and debug settings has been released. So at this point, as of now, you still re will require a PlayStation 4 running on firmware 1.76 in order to use this. Um, but judging by these tools here, it's looking like they're actually able to do a NAND dump. So that's pretty important in terms of the PlayStation uh, hacking scene if you're looking at running some homebrew or some backups and things like that. Um, a few other exploits have been found. Um, I think it's lib mxl2 vulnerability uh, i'll post a link to that as well and that looks like it will work for the vita and the ps4 uh, it looks like the playstation 4 hacking scene has well and truly been cracked open um, whether or not that will come to fruition in the form of a custom firmware or a jailbreak whatever you want to call it um, that's yet to be seen but I guarantee you somewhere somehow somebody is already running some sort of a backup or something like that it's only a matter of time I think now that the exploits are out in the open and people are actually tinkering and getting an opportunity to play with everything it's going to be uh, a lot of fun so so stay tuned guys and I'll keep providing you more updates about the hacking scene around the consoles as I get it. 